What's up, fellas? All right. Hey, we need to have a quick meeting. A meeting? What the hell do we need to have a meeting for? Oh, a meeting? Uh, so I need all of you in my office. Uh, it won't take just a minute. So uh, let's go ahead and get this over with. We got some stuff we need to go over. I got stuff to do. Mealy mouth bastard. Learn how to say please at least. Is there gonna be donuts? I love donuts. All right, good. You're here. Uh, everybody have a seat. You know, there's only one chair in this whole building, and neither one of us can sit in it. Come on, it'll be fun. It'll be just like Drag Queen Story Hour at the public library. The kids love it. Oh, come on. towards first responders and police officers. All that mostly due to that ice cream eating geriatric idiot we have running the country out of the White House at the moment. Hey, he's not that bad, come on. Called the elbow drop, you sissy. So, I hired a new guy, he's gonna run security for us. He is very tough. He has a really, uh, let's just say, he has a really blood-soaked resume. I don't know what we need security for. We need security because you're too busy beating up the hipster doofus when you should be in there working. That's why. I really hope that one day we can get along. So, just kind of steer clear of him and try not to piss him off or say something stupid with your liberal crap. Just don't even, just leave him alone. You just stay away from him. Let's go ahead and bring in the new guy. Come on in, buddy. Come meet the crew. Machine gun. He can't have that. We're trying to make those illegal. You know, friend. It's all right. You can't. You can't hug your neighbor with fire or something or or just learn to not say anything in here it's getting bad for your health this is tj over here at fake it or make it 
uh, today's project, what I want to try and do is I'm tired of, even with the dust collection, uh, the dust collection is not optimal right now. Um, I still get a lot of residual dust floating around in the air and uh, what I want to do <clears throat> is take this workbench. I got a few things underneath here. I want to be able to cover this up and keep some of this sawdust off of it. I don't want to rebuild this, this uh, workbench because materials right now are through the roof expensive. So I sat around on SketchUp all night last night trying to come up with an idea for some stuff something that I could do with this workbench to close off the front of this and then possibly even the sides with scrap material that I already have laying around and that's the whole point of this is to not have to go out and buy more material to accomplish the task at hand so what I came up with was some really simple sliding bypass doors made out of quarter inch plywood. I'm just going to take, uh, I think a one before will work uh, and I'm going to rip it down to an inch and a half wide and then I'm going to, of course, I'm going to route two grooves or probably cut them with the dado, run a dado, two of them, an eighth of an inch apart by a little bit wider than a quarter inch for each slot. I'm going to have to test fit it to see how, but it's basically going to be two runners with an eighth inch gap between them and then the doors will be able to slide past each other and I'm going to put one one wooden track up here and one wooden track down here and I'll have a finger hole and I just slide them back and forth and I can access these tools, the planer, the spindle sander, the router table and any other things that I may want to put in there and hopefully keep some of that sawdust off of it and make it just look a little nicer. All right, so we got, I went over to the table saw, as you just seen, and uh, I was going to set up a dado stack, but I didn't see the point in it as I'm using quarter inch material, sheet material plywood to slide back and forth for my doors. All I had to do, I could have done it, you know, in more passes, but really to get a quarter inch dado, I just had to make three passes on each one. So it really wasn't a big deal to me. That was actually a little more pleasant than actually changing the blades out. And um, I did a just a test run, and it only has one dado in it. Uh, and I checked it on the scrap plywood, and it worked. So a quarter inch for me, with the materials that I have, is is plenty enough room to slide back and forth for the doors. Uh, let's see the. And I really just kind of went by feel. According to my drawing, the top, the top track is going to be deeper so that you can pop it in there and then set it down and it won't fall out uh, of the track. So originally on my SketchUp design, I did, uh, let's see, I did a quarter inch deep on the bottom and then I did three eighths on the top. So that'll give me enough room to fish it in there and drop it in and fall out. The only thing is, is that it is kind of squirrely. The more you cut off of this thin material, the, the wavier it can get. But on the other side of that, I can straighten that out just by bending it back and forth and fixing it in place and then making sure that it's in a straight line for the doors to slide back and forth in. I got my two tracks cut, got my dados ran, and uh, now I'm fixing, the, I got my, the top is labeled, the bottom's labeled. Now I'm fixing to see how I can attach them to the bench and uh, see how that works.
Okay, so we got all of our quarter inch plywood pieces cut. Now, I made a few mistakes, and I'm hoping that I can keep you from making the same mistakes I did. This is rough uh, shop furniture. This is not fine cabinetry. Uh, every bit of this thing except the plywood on top is uh, rough sewn lumber. It's uh, not perfectly dimensional lumber. So this was uh, the bench that I built when I first built the shop. I needed something quick and I needed something fast. Uh, and something pretty heavy. Uh, so this thing is square, but there's a lot of this and a lot of this all down through here. And it's what I'm doing with this sliding door, these bypass doors, is not conducive for something that was built so rough. Yeah, I probably could have took these tube of 12s, cut these tube of 12s that form the bottom deck and went flat down there and duck. that's, I don't have time for all that. But, whenever you do this, essentially you need a, a track on the top and you need a track on the bottom. You can see that, uh, you know, most of the time when people design these, you push them, they go in further at the top, deeper in the top track, and then that allows you clearance to come in and set it down in the bottom. But, beans that I used not the greatest lumber in the world, you got to find the sweet spot to get it in there because like there may be a little bit of a high spot because of this uh, this tube of 12 down here on the bottom may have a crown in it or something. I got it as straight as I possibly can. It stays in there. It doesn't go anywhere. If you can buy this stuff, this track, why not make it? This track. This door is furthest out. The next one next to it goes behind it. See? All right. So the next one for here needs to go back to the front. It just kind of does, you know, it just it's really flimsy. So it bows really easily. So that one you got out in out and then this one will be in. And then, kind of funny about this, I like them, I want every, all the doors to be even. So, I don't want there to be any gaps. And so, whenever you take this length and you figure out these, these doors are 24 inches, and they cover less than eight foot. So you got two, four, six, eight feet of doors. So if you had exactly eight feet of space to cover, then they won't bypass. So you have to make sure that you have more width of door than you, than you actually need to cover so that they can actually overlap and not look like like that and you can figure that out just you know by playing around with the pen and pad, pad and pen and calculator and you can actually figure out I think these have a three inch a three inch lap they're supposed to have a three inch lap so there's three inches coverage on each one of the doors where they overlap I think it turned out okay for what it is so, but I, I, you know, like I say, I can I got enough scrap wood that I can even come in here and face this off with something a little more nice than that. I'm gonna fill those. There's some holes. I'll probably take and block that up, block that hole in, and then there's a hole on the back side of this post. It's just like any other regular shop workbench, uh, but this way it'll just make it look a little nice. Y'all let me know what y'all are working on. Y'all working on anything cool, y'all? You know, now that everything's, the whole world's going crazy, have you been working in your shop more? Have you been, have you been building more? Have you been designing more? Have you been thinking about doing more stuff in your shop or working with your hands? You know, you got, you got any projects going on? Uh, now's a great time with everything being so expensive to 
get out and shop or get out in your garage and do something and take some of your old scrap material or even upcycle something. You know, it doesn't have to be wood. You know, it can be anything. Just get outside and make something. Get out of the house. You know, um, get your mind off all this craziness that's going on. It's a uh, very cathartic to be able to go out and work with your hands and break a sweat and and you know put your mind to some other interest you know some other put put your put your mental power into something other than what's going on in the world and just let that do its own thing and take a break you know that's that's what I've been doing it's but I'm just curious what are y'all working on what are you what are you doing right now what are you what are you working on what do you want to work on is there, is there anything you want to learn is there anything new out there that you want to try you know I'm, I'm really curious to hear about it because uh I want to do everything. I, I want to put my hands on everything. I want to do everything. If I, if I could afford it, I'd have CNCs, laser cutters, 3D printers, robots. That, I don't know. I'd have all kind of stuff. Um, but this is what I can afford, so this is what I do. And I enjoy it. And I, I'm grateful for all that I have and the shop that, that I've been able to build and the life that I lead now, um, despite all the craziness that's going on. So. Just let me know what y'all are doing. I'm curious. Talk to me. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk about making stuff. Talk about doing stuff. And working with your hands and teaching other people how to do stuff and helping them get started. Being more self-sufficient and being able to change a light bulb or change a light switch or go to set a goofy bypass doors for your old uh, work bench out in your shop. This has been another figure to make a video. I really hope y'all enjoy it. I hope you enjoy all the videos. I know I can't win everybody, but hopefully I might make one that will make you laugh one day and maybe even learn something. Anyway, y'all be safe and uh, y'all come back now.